It's got to go better than last night. I'm just telling you, last night was a freaking disaster. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome to Murder Hobo, Inc., uh, the Margu campaign. Uh, if you haven't seen it before, you're in for a real treat. If you have seen it before, you know what kind of treat you're in for. Uh, when you got a player named Haggis Crapstain, uh, you know, it can only go higher. I mean, it's just that bad. Uh, we'll get into where these guys are in just a minute, but let's go ahead and introduce you uh, to the Frank clan at all. Uh, the senior member of our group. Who are you and who are you playing? You're muted. Grandpa, you're muted. <laughs> yeah, I do that every week, don't I? <laughs> I'm Frank Senior. I'm playing Leap. It's a, a half elf druid. Very good, Jason. Copious V bitters. Who you? Who are you? Who are you playing? Even uh, though I just spoiled it. That's uh, Jason, and I am playing Copious Vol Bitters the third, uh, a a entrepreneur gnome who has a touch of the witch. Nice, uh, and already alluded to the infamous Haggis Crapstain. Uh, tell us about yourself. I am Haggis Crapstain. The Haggis comes first, the Crapstain comes second. And what are you? <laughs> a rogue. We all love the rogues. Uh, let's get Frank. Frank. Which Frank, one? Frank, Frank, too. Oh, that's me. That's yeah. right. I am Robert of Zeppelin, sole survivor of the Battle of Evermore, still looking to get the band back together because I'm a bard, a mystic bard. Finding my stairway to heaven or hell. And the final Frank of the group, Frank Three. I am Manfang, aka Noodle. I am a dragonborn fighter. That's it. That's it. There's nothing more. There's nothing less. That's about it. He's very plain and basic. Yeah, no, that's true. He's a he's the vanilla player. Mm -hmm. uh, Last but not least, AJ, tell us a little bit about you and your character for me, please. Yeah, hey, my name's AJ. I'm playing Felix. He's a human rogue, and we both have uh, drinking and gambling problems. Not really problems. You just stink at one of them. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. We won't tell you which one he stinks at, folks, because that's for you to decide. Uh, last time, these guys accepted a job by the people of Metcalf, or actually the town council of Metcalf, albeit somewhat uh, discombobulated as Haggis Crapstain didn't quite make it into the council chambers in time, but found an angry farmer outside and still managed to uh, roll with the party. These guys went to Snoof, or I'm sorry, Soto. Snoof is the nation. Uh, and their job that they accepted, should they fail, they'll die, uh, was to investigate the complaints of three different communities. Each are saying that their villages, towns, thorps are sinking into the mountainous region and disappearing. While the farmers slash complainants feel that this is a nefarious idea, the Council of Metcalf yeah, they really are kind of on the fence. So they have offered to help out some adventurers to go take a look at this problem and report back, yay or nay, whether these guys are for real or if there is a problem. And if there is a problem, they can solve it and double their money. Uh, only their money is in the form of zebra-striped ponies which is rare and expensive. So I'll give that to them. Uh, these guys made it all the way to Soto and they discovered a couple of different problems. Uh, they found a very wet, very damp, very soaky kind of farmhouse. They made it up the incline with some mud creatures and then they split into two groups and investigated several of the submerged buildings some finding uh, spiders uh, in the other group, not so much. Uh, gentlemen, have I missed out on any of the really cool points? Noodle says he wants a My Little Pony rainbow striped. Yeah. Uh, as he wishes. He can always get the albino zebra pony. Uh, comes in orange and white. And that is a, that is a real thing. An albino zebra comes orange and white. 
not not even kidding google that shit folks uh okay so uh you guys were last seen in uh the same area of soto after investigating the far ends of the community you also have the three recipients from the uh, three towns with you uh one of them i believe peed himself during our last episode uh and no it it wasn't noodle so you know that's a plus uh what would you guys like to do now as the sun is beginning to set on soto my room and board your uh, benefactor is not quite certain that uh, <coughs> we have lodging suitable uh, because, after all, eh, there are no residents here and half the buildings have sunk. Uh, however, the best course of action would be the root cellar, uh, he feels. Uh, the root cellar where we just killed the spiders? Correct. Because now it's clear. Oh, Certainly yeah, that's yeah. That seems like a great idea. Let's go back to the dank root cellar where monsters jumped out of the walls to eat us. It, it almost feels like it was written for us to go there. <laughs> I mean, there, there are, uh, there, there's the other half caved in building that you guys went well, to. That'd be the tavern, right? Uh, that was the tavern. I, I, that's, half of that's cellar. not caved in. See, there you go. Root and there were no spiders. Door, right? Uh, yes, there are no spiders there. And what was the other question? A door? There was a the cellar door on still on the, the root cellar, right? Yes. Have to open that? Yeah, yes, so there, there's a door on the root cellar. There's no door in the tavern slash pit slash hole. So, you know, I, I was merely pointing out the most logical thing. Uh, but you guys, you guys could even camp out underneath the stars tonight. I am fine with that. If you want. I say we open that other door. So be it written. The other door, as in the tavern? Uh, the one in the root cellar? Sure. You Maybe it'll lead to a place of safety. It couldn't lead anywhere worse, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, open the door. With, with the band back together, you guys go back to the root cellar and open the small, short squat door? Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Uh, Robert Zeppelin, you're opening it. Yes, sir. Give me a strength check, please. Mm, 16. Oh, easily. Uh, you notice that the bottom of the door scrapes against the uh, bare bones uh, turf of the root cellar uh, and it screeches open. A cool but kind of pungent aroma strikes you in the face as you open this what was a very well sealed door sounds like noodle smells like noodle was in here last probably <laughs> it could be it might be it's noodle uh, uh look inside you do have dark vision do you not i do 60 foot uh you see a lot of small wooden mini casks oh really mm -hmm. each is marked with an unusual sigil some of those sigils are repeated banners 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 do you recognize any of these things These look like little drinking casks well let me take a look at one uh d12 against me nine two uh, you don't recognize the first one. Uh, that one, I don't. I, you know what? Give give that to the haggis crap stain. Let him drink that. Uh, let's look at another one. Crap <laughs> stain. Looking at another one. D twelve. Two again. I got a one. Uh, this is a symbol that you recognize. It is a tomato symbol. Tomato. Mm -hmm. You notice that each of these containers have a thin bead of wax around the bunghole, which is the cork that fits in a barrel. I, I'm going to. That is that is also true. <laughs> no, it's it's not it's not what you said. It's just the way you said it. <laughs> I, I've seen this. 
something's going to jump out of the top of this attached to your face and shove a long tube down your throat and impregnate you. Hey, Ripley, shut up. <laughs> I, I think this looks like vittles for dinner. This is a root cellar after all. I'm thinking this is food. I'm, oh. I'm telling Robert to Zeppelin this. Hey, you figured it out, man. First fight is on you, honors. Nope. Who's the most gastronomically inclined of this group? Haggis. I vote for Haggis. Haggis. Give it to Haggis. Haggis will eat anything. Haggis, you take this small wooden cask with a wax seal around the entry point. Uh, what would you like to do? Drink it. You carve out the wax seal. Give me a strength check real easy. Uh, see if you can pop the container lid. <laughs> The happy 15. look. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, you pop it open and the aroma of uh, tomatoes fills the room. True to copious fee bidders investigation skills. Uh, it appears as though they have uh, jarred uh, tomatoes. I said I was eat drinking it. So. Sure. You can drink tomato juice. Unfortunately, I don't have much to add to it yet. <laughs> if you wait, you can drink the tomato juice with a special seasoning that copious fee bitters will undoubtedly understand what it is. Well, they don't call it crack stocks too. <laughs> so, uh, Haggis uh, Crabstain uh, is drinking tomato juice. It will give you a rosy complexion. On to number three. Thirteen. On a D12. <laughs> oh, sorry. Ah, he's yes, using my trick that, dice. Ah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was gambling with Felix <laughs> earlier. Five. Uh, four. Uh, another tomato. I'm thinking these are all canned vittles. Well, you didn't even have to open it. You just noticed the sigil. Now, as you go down the row, four of eight have the same sigil as the tomato juice that Haggis Crabstain is opening. One of them, you've already discovered, is not a tomato, uh, but you haven't opened it, and that leaves three others. I'm right. starting to pop lids. Uh, I'm so a you curious are, gnome. You are literally opening these babies. Yes. Okay, the first one that you, you didn't know what it was uh, smells staunchly of alcohol uh, as a... Uh, brewer of said product you can tell that this is more of a whiskey brandy base uh there's a second one with that same sigil uh the other two are wine uh one uh aged well the other one who wants to drink that i'll give that to to noodle tell him it'll help with his breath noodle try this give me a con check noodle Man Fang dies right here. <laughs> Seven. It's awful. It's more vinegar than anything else. You spit it out, uh, giving a nice arc of spray in the non-safe distance root cellar. Uh, your associate, the farmer, uh, decides, hey, I'll take that. He said it tastes like bitters, brew. Absolutely not. I, I he'll take it anyway. He's happy with that. The the uh, more potent whiskey, I will go ahead and uh, um, stash that away, and then pass out the wine and, and let everyone know. If you want, here's some here's some something to add to our our dinner tonight. Uh that's fair. Your three uh, associates, uh, your citizens, are fine with that. Although the farmer here in Soto's uh, curious and points out that how do you think you're going to get the zonkeys by getting drunk tonight? Oh, you clearly don't know this group very well. We perform much better. <laughs> Couldn't perform much worse. <laughs> the more you drink, the better I sing. Oh, that, that one I will buy. Uh, so uh, you guys all pass the jug around. 
uh, and there is enough other foodstuffs hanging. Uh, also, uh, everybody D12, the high roll is going to find something unusual. All right, I'm not drinking ever after haggis. I'm just saying that. Nice. Nine. I'm afraid I don't speak German, but I'll go ahead and take that as less than 12. Nine. Anybody get a 12 besides Felix the Rogue? Felix the Rogue, as the others are passing around the jug, you notice a small wooden box uh, tucked underneath some uh, farm implements and other items of domestic use. Uh, as you look at it, uh, you can tell that there is a soft aroma as you fiddle with the box. Is the box big enough for me to, small enough for me to pick up and kind of shield it, keep it to myself? Okay. It's like a cigar size box. I'm going to kind of look over and open the box very carefully. And <laughs> I'll do a stealth check for you. Or you can roll. We'll take one, though. 16. Oh, easily. You uh, kind of tuck that thing over. Oh, that looks interesting. Look down. It appears to be tobacco products. I'm going to take about half of it and stick it into uh, the little pouch that I have in my pocket and alert everybody else. Hey, I found some tobacco. You are a gracious take? host. <laughs> well, I took half of it for myself, remember? That's true. There is no hookah, so you guys are going to have to find old corn husks to roll some not quite Cuban cigars. Uh, if you want to smoke, give me a con check, please. Let's see somebody vomit today. I've got some zigzag in my pack if anybody needs them. There you go. One or two is what I'm looking for. Otherwise, everybody's fine. I guess I'm the only one smoking. No. Uh, thir thir 23. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. Is it, is it, is it Ubanos? Mm. This was obviously cured from the finest farmers. Uh, that being said, I assume you guys are going to rest for the night? <laughs> After that tobacco, I'm not getting off this couch. Okay. Now remember, you came down into the root cellar, and then you've gone into the sub-root cellar. It's a little chillier in the second root cellar. Uh, an investigation of the room will find that there is no other entry point in either one of these two rooms. So it doesn't bother me which room you stay in. I just need to know if you're going to stay in the first room or the second room. Well, I say we can stay in the, the second room and we post the guard in the first room. I'm going to stay in the first room. Yeah, I'm staying in the first room. Are you I'm I'm going to stay in the second room. So I got three and three? Yeah. Split the party. Felix, Robert, and Noodle, give me constitution saves. Twelve is your magic number. I'm good. I got uh, 18. Seventeen. Robert? Oh, all three of you uh, brave the cool atmosphere just fine. You don't even wake up achy, uh, not even your breaky heart. Uh, the morning dawns anew. Uh, all, by the way, all three of your civilians stayed in the first room because who wants to stay in the fridge? Uh, fortunately, none of your guards posted, noticed anything. So uh, it's morning. Tummies are growling. There's a tree calling for some of you. Uh, and your farmer friend here in Soto is wondering, what are you going to do about this problem? Well, let's investigate. OK. Who wants to investigate? Investigating. I will take uh, investigation rolls by everybody who wants to look around. All right. Let's investigate. 
Uh, 10 for Copious. He did not do well. 20. Even worse with eight. 20. It may August. have been the brandy. Just August. Saying. 18. And Robert and Noodle. Just a straight up die roll? Uh, investigation roll. Oh, okay. Uh, 13 for me. Need help with this is 13 as well because my investigation oh, my investigation is minus my investigation is uh as you each separate and go into the various areas uh leaf the druid and haggis crabstain notice something unusual in the regions they explore uh leaf being a druid notices that one of the buildings seems to have submerged because a spherical hole, like a, a, a giant wormhole, maybe three feet across, appears to have damaged the structure. Uh, Leaf, you can go into the tunnel and take a look around if you want to crawl on your hands and knees, because it is only three feet tall and three feet wide. Oh, the white worm. Sounds like a job for a gnome. Or halfling. Or halfling. Yeah, I'm game. I'll let the halfling go. Or a lizard. <laughs> Haggis, do you want to go in and uh, see what you can find in the tunnel? Yep, I go straight in there. Sucker. <laughs> uh, I got your back. Which will help when the tunnel collapses. <laughs> uh, Haggis, how far do you want to go in? Let's just go like in the entrance and then we'll see if we want to progress. Uh, you notice that some roots from various vegetation seem to have been nipped off, like almost like some kind of gnomish mechanical drill has come through here. The circumference is nearly perfect uh, and there doesn't appear to be any dirt on the tunnel floor. Uh, it extends uh, with your dark vision maybe 20 feet and makes a jog to the left. Okay, I, I, um, there's, a, there's a tunnel and it goes left. Okay, I go left. So I keep going. I'll go. Leaf, are you following him in? Or yeah, I'm going to follow him. Just emotionally have his back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Haggis, as you go up to the 20 foot mark, uh, you notice that it kind of goes off at a 45 degree angle and then goes for a little bit longer. You got my back, Leaf? I'm right here with you. We okay, might I, as well came this far. We might as well see where it goes. That's a joke. Right. You want it to have your back? Mm -hmm. I've heard stories. Uh, you go about another 120 feet and you notice that the tunnel seems to go on a rise. Uh, as you continue on forward, you reach what you think might be level ground, but it appears as though you've gone up. Uh, noting that this is a mountainous and hillside area, uh, you find, as you pop your head out, some old branches that have been chewed through are concealing an opening. Popping your head up, you see everybody else except Leaf. You see anything? So it appears as though somebody has channeled. Do you want to go back through the tunnel or pop up? No, I'll pop up. And let, you know. no, I'm going to follow him up through. Leaf, Haggis. Give me an investigation check. Eight. <laughs> Seventeen. Leaf, you had the eight? Yeah. Good news, Haggis. As you hoist yourself up out of the hole, you feel something metallic in your hand. As you turn it over, there seems to be a brass button stuck in your hand. There is a sigil on it. Okay, so um, I, I look at it. 
Give me an Arcana check. Sorry, I have a 14, but I show Leaf the, the object. Leaf, same thing, Arcana check. Well, neither one of you recognize it. Uh, I assume that Robert, Noodle, Felix, and Copius are yelling into the tunnel. <clears throat> Excuse me, yelling into the tunnel to see if you guys have found anything from your <laughs> lofty perch, which is about eight and a half feet higher than they are. If you want, you can throw rocks at them. And I'm gonna yell. Back. I'm gonna yell back down the tunnel. Yeah, come on through. Uh, who is third in line or standing in front of the entrance there? Robert of Zeppelin. Us standing at the entrance, yes. Yeah. Give me a perception check, see if you hear them. Eighteen. You hear them, and uh, it echoes down that tunnel. Something about come here, something safe, okay, something. I don't know, boys. It sounds like they're saying the tunnel's clear. Go right on in. They're ready for us. Felix, come on. <laughs> Bitters, go ahead. I got you. I don't think I'm going to fit in that tunnel. Well, you um, think I, am? I don't want to. Uh, no, it'll get my doublet dirty. I'm, 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 I'm going to pass. I'm going to take a snort from the cask from the night before and sit down. You want to hit in this tobacco? It, uh, it's pretty good stuff. Do you want to try the the whiskey? Yes, I do. I thought you'd never ask. I thought that was a piss pot. It's a Cheech and Chong movie. Yes, it is. Just keep going, guys. Let us know what you find. Uh, Haggis and Leaf, it appears as though you are solo here. I'll look around and <clears throat> where we where we came out and, and, and see if there's anything to see from this perch. You are on the ridge line slightly above the town because it is sunken in. Uh, you get a better vantage point. Uh, you can see the mud trail that you came up and you can see your approach. Uh, if you look left to right, uh, you will see forest. There's forest on your left. If you turn to your right, there's more forest. Uh, however, and you don't need an investigation roll, there are boot prints here. Well, uh, Haggis, I think we need to get the rest of the crew up. Apparently, they're not going to come through the tunnel, so I'll head down the hillside. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow. I'm going to go ahead and go down and yell at the, the rest of them, try to get their attention. That should be easy enough to do as Felix and Copius pass uh, their goodies around. Ro okay, Robert Zeppelin's not going to do anything. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Copius and uh, Felix, uh, you hear yelling up on the ridge. Yeah. We'll look to where it's coming from. Uh, you see your associates, Leaf and Haggis. Oh, yeah, I'm going to call out. What, what did you guys find out? I thought you were in the tunnel. Well, uh, we were in the tunnel. The tunnel comes out up here on the ridge. Doppelgangers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to request a standard doppelganger check from both of them. I'm going to spin around and drop my doppelganger checker pants. <laughs> Does copious be better is recognize the check. <laughs> I did. I, I recognize that, that maneuver. Okay. So apparently you have been verified. <laughs> it's like a secure website yep that verification is received uh you guys want to uh scamper up the side which is uh not really traversable although there is a road over by the tavern that fell in and that will lead up the incline a little bit uh, i'll head that way if that's what they're asking us to do yeah, it is well, we're yelling at you to come on up you guys uh want to meet at the trail then i take it yeah 
<laughs> okay. Uh, as the rest of the group uh, joins Leaf and Haggis, uh, you two can explain that for some reason the tunnel maintained its uh, sharp circumference. Uh, there was very little to be found. Haggis, you have an item if you want to share that information or not. Yeah, we'll, sh we'll share the information. Haggis, show them that button you found. Copius and Felix, if you guys want to make Arcana checks, that's fine. 15. 14. Don't know. Not a clue. <laughs> it's a brass button, though. It's not cheap. So all four of you would realize that uh, it, it, it didn't come from a commoner. Uh, your associate here in Soto will look at it. Yeah, we don't have bubbles like that. Bubbles. Uh, There's some footprints up around this tunnel that you should take a look at too. And just a quick question on on the button. The sigil doesn't resemble the sigil that fell out of all those clay golem from before. Uh, it does not. But that is an excellent question. All right. I want to follow. <laughs> Uh, did they, Haggis and Leaf, did you point out the foot footprints as well or just the show us the button? You point out the footprints. Leaf, Leaf pointed it out. They were so, pointing them out. Uh, I mean, obviously, they look like boot prints, large, small. I will take a nature check from you and Felix. Nature. And Haggis and Leaf, if you also <laughs> want to make nature checks to evaluate the boot prints nature. more, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, I'm nature. I'm in nature. That's what I recognize. Seven. 17. 16. Yeah, it looks like dirt to me, too. Uh, Haggis and Felix, you come to the conclusion that it appears to be, well, it's definitely humanoid. Uh, the slender, narrow nature of it indicates to you that it is either a human female or an elven boot. Can we we can clearly uh, ascertain the direction that the boots were moving or backtrack? Yes, uh, they actually seem to be headed for the trail where the firm uh, terra firma uh, doesn't allow for good boot prints. And, and you said it was like fresh. Wait, is it fresh? The print? No, uh, you two scored high enough. It's a couple days old. Is it just a single boot print, or can we see a couple of steps in the gate here? Uh, you can see that the gate offers you the conclusion that it was probably a human female or an elf of some type. From the stride you're talking, right? Yeah, yeah, That's that was my question. Thank you. Correct. Yep. Our three locals who are with us, uh, if we point out the trail to them, can they tell us where the trail leads? Ah. Uh, yeah, it leads to my place. Perfect. It leads to Belfast. Uh, I would. I'm recommending to everyone. Well, let's follow the trail. I concur. Okay. I agree. Uh, it's it's going to take you about four four and a half hours to get to Belfast. During the entire time, your friend from Soto is going to bitch unmercifully about. You guys didn't do anything. You didn't do your job. You showed up. You killed a few things, but you didn't do anything. I don't know why you're even going to get the zonkeys. We're going to kill a few more things if you don't shut up. He will go to the back of the group and continue to mutter underneath his breath. Uh, his displeasure is going to be well known, as Haggis Crabstain has already seen outside when he rang the bell. Uh, Can I attempt a persuasion check that we actually did more than he realizes, but his limited worldview does not let him understand the intricacies of our investigation? Are you going to use the word rube when you do it? <laughs> Make some kind of contention that he and his sister were more than just siblings? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Wait him. <laughs> uh, yeah, 12. 
Uh, he is not persuaded by your opinion, but his uh, muffled grumblings do get a little bit softer as he ponders whether or not uh, you guys know what you're doing, and he doesn't uh, because he is a simple person. A uh, few hours into it, uh, your associate, and for some reason, I cannot find the three names of the guys that I used. Um, my apologies. I have no idea. I've got everything right here. Anyway, uh, the individual from Belfast says, uh, oh, we're about there. We're about there. We just have to cross a river. Uh, uh, Weave from Soto. There you go. Yeah, and Trey uh, from Belfast and Satin from Lumberster. What was it? Tran? Trey? Trey, that's right. And what was Soto? Soto was Weave. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, so Trey announces, uh, we're about there. All we have to do is cr cross the river, uh, and you will be in my homeland, and hopefully uh, you can tell what has happened to our buildings. Any questions before you cross is there, is there a bridge there, there is a bridge okay. a beautiful bridge best bridge you're ever going to see this is a magnificent lumber bridge uh as you round the corner oh ain't a good bridge anymore uh and trey stands dumbfounded and slack-jawed as you notice only one of the horizontal supports is present the rest of the bridge appears to have been washed away as erosion has taken a heavy toll on the lower land. As you peer up, Trey gasps, uh, and you can only see a single building about 60 yards. Uh, you see some caved-in buildings right along the ridgeline on the other side of the river, but they aren't there anymore uh trey is going to go ahead and run headlong in because you will assume that uh more damage has occurred in his absence as he flees across the bridge luck is with him uh he runs in drops like he's in planet of the apes and screams no why uh you guys are on this side of the bridge uh, he is on the other weeping openly how did how did he get across ran like hell <laughs> just zipped right across the one horizontal uh support left a feat that you are all impressed with because it's only about yay wide i'm gonna cross give me a dex check yeah, and use my acrobatics too. I will give you acrobatics if you prefer. Oh, good. <laughs> I, I am going to have to do a dice purge before this game is over today. So even with bonus, I got 11. You're about to get wet. <laughs> uh, Felix, you're smiling. Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to hold off and watch them make it to the other side, or not. Haggis and Leaf? <laughs> they need to roll over your dex. Mm -hmm. Well, you, uh, you make the roll and add your uh, dex modifier, or acrobatics if it's higher. Okay. Um, acrobatics, 320. Haggis? I'm not, I'm not going across just yet. <laughs> Uh, copious and leaf each of you roll a d20 straight up tell me who gets the high roll 17 uh, leaf is first over the bridge he scales it like a true champ and goes over to uh, comfort Trey in his time of anguish as copious v bitters goes up second <laughs> splash <laughs> you are now soaking wet and the current is rather cold up here in the mountains uh, give me an odd even roll, please. Odd, you'll be on the proper side. Even, not so much. Even. You got to re-roll again if you want to cross the bridge. <laughs> I'm crossing that bridge. Fair this enough. is wildly coyote time, man. And your Ajax rocket. In he goes again. <laughs> 
The cold water is really starting to irritate you. Give me an odd even. There you go. You climb out of the proper side of the river, muddy, wet, and cold. Haggis, Felix, um, Robert, across. and Noodle. Okay, Felix is going to cross the lumber bridge. So I got a 20 with, uh, with my acrobatics. Felix, uh, nonplussed by Copius's inability to cross, crosses sideways in a nice dance move just to add insult to injury and joins Leaf and poor Trey. Robert and Noodle, uh, you guys are arriving at Belfast and the glorious, fantastic, greatest bridge ever has, seems to have been washed away with only one log spanning uh, the width. Copious V Bitters has taken two dunks. <laughs> Leaf and Felix has not. Uh, they crossed easily. We're waiting for Haggis Crapstain and you two to decide whether or not you feel lucky. Well, do you, punks? <laughs> I, I'm feeling lucky today. Go ahead and cross. Uh, you can use uh, dex slash acrobatics. What about a natural 20? Uh, copious uh, Robert of Zeppelin follows Felix's lead and he pirouettes across just adding insult to injury as you uh, steam you manage to warm the cockles of your heart from the cold clammy hands of the death river uh, Haggis and Noodle either one of you two want to cross mm -hmm. if they want hey. hey welcome to the river <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a odd even roll, please. Any die. Even, even. Noodle has not learned anything. As he plunges into the water, he goes back to the wrong side and will have to make another crossing. Just like Copius did the first time. This is so fun. At least you aren't injured. So who wants to go next? Haggis or Noodle? You want to try it again? 19. Easily crosses, prancing like he's in a Monty Python movie. <laughs> Noodle, it's just you on the wrong side, but wait! Everybody roll perception first. Oh, you have to re-roll that beautiful 18. Mm -hmm. no, yeah, he, he can keep it. That'll be fine. <laughs> 19. 16. Oh, oh, natural 20. It's these dice. I changed them. Leaf and Haggis? Has to die. All of you... 15. <laughs> all of you here... Large mandibles, you think. Oh. Uh, and it appears to be coming from one of these sunken buildings. Uh, Noodle, you roll an 18 and you scamper across that log. Uh, all of you can look at Copious who looks like a wet rag doll, and he is not going to be happy. But uh, everybody hears the mandibles, except for, of course, Trey, who is in hard mourning. Why? Why? Uh, how about we roll initiative? So Copius is still on the other side? Nope, he made it. He made uh -huh. it after his second try. OK. I was sober. That was the issue. 16. 18. Also 16. 5. Ouch. 13. <laughs> Robert? 12. 12? Yeah. Everybody but Felix uh, wins a large kind of giant insect looking thing comes out uh and everybody give me a nature check this is a rather common item your associates will definitely know what it is a three it's a giant praying mantis felix leaf same a druid really a druid <laughs> five fifteen fifteen where's a squirrel three thirteen I got Holy shit. Holy shit, you guys are bad. Uh, Haggis Noodle, I think. Felix, what was your roll? A three. 
Oh, awesome. Haggis Noodle and the three farmers all notice, holy crap, it's an anakeg. Uh, they will realize that this thing can spit acid. So we will start as it emerges with copious V bitters with an 18. Uh, yeah, we're going straight for the attack. I'm going Eldritch Blast all the way. Okay. Uh, da, 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 16. Hit. Six points. Nice. Uh, next up are the 16s. That would be Leaf and Haggis. I'm going to use a poison spray. Okay. Poison, not acid, right? No, poison. Okay. I did not yeah, save I missed. Okay. <laughs> Haggis? I rolled a one. Oh, you didn't miss. <laughs> you did not miss at all, I'm afraid. Let me see here. Why don't you roll a D6 for me, please? It'll be Leaf, Copious, Haggis, Robert, Noodle, Felix. In that oh, order. oh, wait a minute. I, I used the wrong dice. That's a 12 sided. That's a one's un a one. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, go ahead and re roll. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't like a one's a one. I'm, I'm with uh, Felix. I uh, a one's a one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can go with the one. Uh, I don't care. I think it's probably me. Better. <laughs> That'll teach you to roll better or choose the dice properly. Wow. I rolled a D4. Did I hit? No, you missed. <laughs> uh, Haggis, you're up. Sorry. Is is the is the, the man is it targeted on someone that isn't me? Like is it focused in another direction than I am? It is crawling up out and it's going to focus on six. Felix the rogue. Okay, I'm I'm gonna try and flank and try and get behind uh, other structures and try and get behind it. Okay. Uh stealthy like. Yeah, sure. Give me a stealth check. What's his plan again? 15. 15? Ah, uh, yeah, he's going to try and flank it and get behind it. That way, when Leaf throws another poison spray that actually chokes, uh, he's going to be hit and uh, be poisoned. Uh, next up out of the 16s is the 13. Uh, that's Noodle, followed by Robert Zeppelin with the 12. What are you doing? Uh, how far away am I? Uh, you can get into melee range with your movement. It's big damage with the axe. Or gonna... you want to stay back and shoot? I'm going to use my axe because it does a bit more damage. Fair enough. No, this is more than 16. you got to add. So it's plus 7. So that you're, you definitely hit. All right, and you got to do your damage. So plus 5 to your 7. So 12. 12. 12 points of damage. 23 to hit. Nicely done. Robert of Zeppelin, you're up. This thing has a lot of hit points. I am going to do the same and step up and take a swing and hopefully not fall. <laughs> Very close. Very close. A three. We're getting there to that fumble. Uh, Noodle, you get a little bit of shave on the side of your head as you go. Uh, next up with the seven is the Anakeg, and I have already targeted Felix, and my first attack is not the acid spray, so you're fortunate. Uh, eight plus five is 13. I have a 14 armor yep. class. Uh, the mandibles snap at you, but fail to connect, and that means you're up. All right, I'm going to take out both my short swords, one in each hand. I've seen this infomercial before. It never ends well. A 24 and a 14. It ended very well for you with both of them hitting. Both of them do six damage. Are you going to attack it from the inside where it's weaker? Uh, off comes one of the antennae. 
uh, only making the creature more angry. Uh, back up to the top of the order, 18 copious. 16 to hit. Yep, easy. Nine damage. Next, the pair of 16s, Haggis and Leaf. Come on, Leaf. <laughs> that thing. And before I do this, I got a question. Uh-huh. Uh, seeing as how this is my first time trying not to screw up a spell. Uh, the DC is 14 on this spell. Mm -hmm. um, and it says modifier is plus six. Uh, the DC is what I need to save. The plus six is what you get uh, a bonus in case it's a ranged attack. Okay. So if you're trying to hit me with something, yeah. you get plus six. But if it's an area of effect or something, I have to do your DC. So is a poison, poison spray an area of effect or? It, it's, it's the a, area it's of a ranged attack. I think it's, uh, I think six. I just have to make the save. I don't know. That's why I'm asking. This is new for me. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think it's a, you just have to make the save, Frank. I have the same spell. And I yeah. was thinking that's and, and, and how many other people in the area have to make <laughs> the same damage? Yeah. yeah, that's the real question, isn't it? <laughs> well, the, the good thing was I rolled an 18 when he said he was going to do poison spray. The other good thing is Haggis Crapstain had not yet made it around. So he just sprayed the uh, foliage behind it. And that's I just rolled the right dice and rolled that. Oh, very nice. What was that for? That's a one for the poison spray. He fumbled the spray. Oh, no. If you're poison spraying, I just have to make the save, correct? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't matter if I roll or not? No, you don't roll. It's just an area of effect spell. Uh, however, keep that one, because I'm sure Felix needs that. <laughs> uh, that is a 15 plus whatever the modifier is. So uh, you said 13 to make the save or 14? 14 to me. So I'm, I am fine. Uh, again, you're you're killing. You're like Roundup. You're Roundup the Druid. You're just killing stuff. <laughs> you're a horrible Druid. <laughs> the opposite of what a Druid does. Yeah, I'm telling you, buddy. You're the What's anti. A, it's a squirrel. You don't want me to hurt a squirrel. The anti. Just take. Yeah, you're taking away their food source. Hagas, you're up. He needs to change his name to Damien. <laughs> So I'm not I, I I'm I'm a uh, I'm not behind the creature, am I? You have watched Leaf throw two poison sprays over its back, so I'm gonna say that you probably don't want to get directly on its six, but maybe it's five or four. Okay, okay. Um, by looking at the creature, does it have any uh weak spots? Maybe. Uh, give me a perception check. Well, actually, uh, yeah, you knew what it was. So you know that the underside is very tender. There's one chink in its armor you can put an arrow through, Hobbit. Right in the ankle. Or really? Tendon, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yes, if, if you get under it, you'll do better. But getting under it puts it right in your wheelhouse or your grill. Which Felix, I think, would be happy if you wanted to step up and uh, take the heat. Okay, I, I, t I get out my crossbow and I aim for its eye. Okay, if fair. it has one. Uh, now, uh, if you roll a one, it's either going to be Felix or Noodle. So go I'll ahead. I'll take that risk. I'll take it. <laughs> I, 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 I don't like that, that risk. risk. I don't like that risk. 14 to hit. Uh, that actually does hit. I know in other games you used to be able to take a round to uh, uh, eleven to hit. Can you do that in D and D? Uh, you can't on called shots. It's uh, usually house rules on how that's played out, um, and it's kind of ugly. I know in second edition you had to go up and over, uh, so I don't usually do called shots. Uh, but I'll let him aim for the eye, uh, like in episode four for Galaxy Quest. Uh, <laughs> but he still has two eyes. In this round, it's going to be a poison spray, just, you know, to soften the blow. Noodle, you're up with a 13. You going to roll, Noodle? Yeah. Robert of Zeppelin is on deck with a 12. And Felix the Rogue is sweating it because he knows the acid spray is coming. 
Five ten? No, plus what oh, it what's your sorry. plus the hit? Plus seven. You got an eighteen, son. Eighteen. You hit it. Now you take the damage and add what your bonus is. Plus five. Okay. Nine. Damage. Nice. Nicely done. Good at my, uh, <laughs> me me good words, not good. He swings. He doesn't uh, cipher. Uh, Robert Zeppelin, you're up. All right. Uh, I got a 24 to hit mm -hmm. and then nine points of damage, too. Oh, so close. <laughs> okay. Uh, for game purposes, if I roll a three, it's going to be Haggis, period. If I roll a one or two, it's going to be Leaf and Copious. Uh, three and four, Robert and Noodle. Five and six, Felix and Noodle. Uh, Haggis, uh, you're off by yourself. That's why you're alone. So, what about the farmer? Uh, you know what? Farmer. I'll give you the farmer. Farmer is seven and eight. Kill your lieges. That's a great call. Two, Leaf and Copious. I uh, need you to make a deck save. DC 13. <laughs> Boy, I'm rolling. I'm dead meat. To take half. <laughs> next, 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 next. Nine. Eight. Eleven. Uh, neither one of you made it, so you're each going to eat uh, 12 points of damage. You just oh, fit oh, with a frame wow. You stick through the it. The sizzle on the face is horrendous. The smell is worse. And Felix the Rogue, you're up. <laughs> end this thing so i strike again with both of my short swords one of them i rolled a 13 and the other one a one the 13 misses noodle you have an incoming strike or <laughs> felix does uh you know what uh I'll roll a d6 one to two you fling that short sword uh narrowly missing haggis uh three four <laughs> you're gonna stab yourself in the foot and five six you're gonna give uh, noodle uh, a new scar <laughs> he's getting a new scar it was a five <laughs> uh, damage and then have it four damage if it's half four damage noodle good news top of the order copious you're writhing in pain but it's your turn uh, the creature looks weak and wobbly on its legs hey what frank at the end, when I took damage from the, the last round, could I have used my Hellish Rebuke as a reaction? Mm -hmm. Can I do that before I attack? Sure. It is dead. <laughs> it had one hit point left. <laughs> it's, I, I wanted that thing to suffer. Oh, man, I was going to hit it again. To the, to the point of you and Leaf being permanently scarred. Uh, exactly. The three individuals golf clap you uh look at copious and leaf and go revulsion uh from the looks uh trey gets up off his knees and just he's entering a new stage of grief and it is anger and he goes over and he begins to kick the creature repeatedly in the head uh let's see if he gets his foot stuck in the eye hole left by haggis uh, that's a two. So now he is trying to wiggle his foot out of the carpus of the Anakeg uh, in a very comical manner. Copious and Leaf, he, the sizzle is just incinerating you from inside, and it is very painful. I don't know how to fix this. Fle Felix, come over here. Guys, get on your knees. I hear if you pee oh. on the wound, it takes the thing out. It's just like jellyfish. <laughs> it's the same concept. I'm pretty full of whiskey, so I'll I'll come assist you with that, Robert. I don't know what that wine was, but it flew right through me like coffee in the morning. Uh, I'm thinking poison spray is about to come on. I should have saved that hellish rebuke for what's about to happen. <laughs> I'm going to uh, chug one of the healing potions that I I have from earlier. Uh, they have not been used. I have one that's a two die eight plus four, so I'm going to go ahead and chug that. What about you, Leaf? You still hot? Did you use any of yours? Anti druid. You're muted. I haven't used one, so but I don't find them either. That's loud. Wow. 
that was uh, screaming. <laughs> was it? Yeah. <laughs> you were you're a smidge loud. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you should have had the same thing in the beginning. Uh, yeah. So you should have had one of each. And if you haven't used it, you should be able. One was a one die eight plus two. And one was a one die eight plus four. If you haven't used any of them. If not, I have one I can give up. I haven't used any of them, so. Uh, hey, let's see him call it. I I managed to roll two ones on no, mine. No, no ones on potions. You got to re-roll that. Yeah, no okay. no ones on potions. House rule, give you a break. Twos are good, but ones, no. I swear to God, I just rolled a two as soon as you said that. I got. I rolled a seven. So. As you're putting it in, you're putting it in on the bad eye side, and you're just letting it run down your cheek. <laughs> uh, you could have saved that potion. I could have just peed on you. You know what? Maybe that potion helps from all the dead plants that the druid just killed. <laughs> Name the dead leaf. Uh, anybody want to help Trey out of the? insect skull because now he's just stomping around on it he can take his foot off with the axe if it, if it helps i'll go help him out okay uh what do the rest of you want to do starting with leaf um i want to look around in the tunnel that this thing just come up out of okay uh good one uh copious what do you want to do uh, yeah, so first I'm going to take one of the antenna off of this thing as a souvenir after my ravaged face. Then I'm going to look in the tunnel and, and see where this thing was coming from. August? Yeah, I'll follow him, but I want to keep a, a part of it, the, the creature's blood in case of, you know, or acid or whatever. Give me an animal handling. Are you going for the acid sack? Yes. Okay, yeah, give me an animal handling. Don't get <laughs> I've seen this on worse professions, I think. Heel dressing team. Just don't hit the urine sack. 13 is fine. You uh, managed to siphon off a little bit of acid. Uh, okay, then. you uh, managed to siphon off a little bit of acid. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, what are you doing? I'm going to go check the hole. Okay, and noodle. I think I'm just going to look around and see if I can see anything. Very good. Uh, Felix, uh, you managed to stomp your boot down on the skull. Uh, Trey is able to extricate his foot while still cursing it. He's just frothing at the mouth. He can't believe this has happened. Uh, he's uttering just a stream of anger-ridden comments like, where are all the people? When I left, there were still some people. Uh, Noodle, you notice that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine buildings are kaput, crashed in, crunched in. There are three buildings left, however. Uh, let's see. Robert, Copious, and Leaf, you investigate the whole. Uh, Leaf, you can tell the other two that this is not the same spherical hole. This is more of a rough blended hole. Uh, it is certainly not uh, the same as the one you found in Soto. That being said, it appears as though this, this creature moves through the earth at a very uh, uh, shallow depth and it has left a trench that has fallen in upon itself. So there's really no tunnel to go ahead and search through. You can search through the dirt to see if it's dropped anything, uh, but other than that, there's not much. Haggis, uh, you managed to siphon off a little bit of the acid. That being said, uh, we'll start with Felix this time. Felix, uh, he's extricated his foot. Uh, he's yelling about everybody else being dead uh, and survivors. Uh, he's clearly out of his mind in grief and anger. What would you like to do? Uh, I actually have no idea what to do. Just going to kind of let him throw his temper tantrum. And I'm going to suggest that we start going towards these collapsed buildings. Fair enough. Doodle? I'm going to start searching the houses for anybody or anything. 
The damaged ones or the three that are still intact? The three that are still intact. Fair enough. Robert. I'm going to now do, now that I know about this hole, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the same. I'm going <laughs> to look for survivors or clues. Wink, wink. Hoggis. I'll, uh, I'll go inside the remaining standing still buildings. Copious. So the, the trench that was created by this creature, does it zigzag to the collapsed houses or does it have a separate path from the, the houses? Did we just lose somebody? Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, we lost we crap Hoggis. Uh, it zigzags in towards the wilderness. Uh, but zigzags to each of the collapsed buildings, like that is what caused the collapse or separate? No. Separate. It separate. looks like it came from the farm fields. I'm going to sort of meander following the, the path. I'm not going to get out of visual of the town or all the folks uh, party, but sort of walk back and see if, if there's anything to notice as I head out. Uh, Leaf, what would you like to do? I'm going to head over toward the uh, still standing buildings too and just take a look around. So I have Leaf, Crap Stain, and Noodle going towards the upright buildings. I have Felix and Robert going after the submerged ones, or did I get that wrong? No, I was going after, I was going with Noodle to help look for survivors. Okay, so Leaf, Crabstain, Robert, and Noodle are looking for survivors. Felix, you are looking uh, in the crushed buildings. Uh, you are going to find bodies to the tune of... Three bodies mangled. Uh, they seem to have uh, died of bludgeoning damage. Mm. So when it fell in on them, they died. Copious, you have a uh, weave following you, and he's like, what are you doing? I'm trying to see where this creature that we just killed came from, in case it's related to what's happening in the town. Looks like it came from the crop fields. Are you sneaking away? <laughs> yeah, so you're one of those. You've been with him for two days now. You know he's one of those. He is a <laughs> giant pain in the ass. Seems to me you're doing a lot less investigating here than you did in Soto, and you didn't do that much in Soto. Oh, we, all he, right. so he turns around and starts to head back towards the others, muttering about your uselessness and uh, his lack of credibility with you. All right, so now I'm looking around. Does anyone see Weave and I talking? Just throw some manure at his head when he walks away. I would no, say no. They are all uh, busy doing other things. Yeah. Oh, the, uh, so, <laughs> so, so tempting. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, Weave's died. <laughs> Another creature attacked. I think it was an elvish woman. But don't worry. I took care of it. <laughs> I took care of her. I chased her off. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, uh, th uh, threaten Weave. I'm going to throw something at him, gain his attention, and then I'm going to use my Fey presence um, to frighten the bejesus out of him about his mouth and and what's going on. And if that you have those ruffles like a dinosaur, I do. <laughs> uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll to hit him. It's all right, let's see if I can actually smack AC him. AC 10. Oh, I hit him. Sweet. Right. 11. <laughs> you smack him upside the head and go, look, you are this far away from being a victim or a headstone. <laughs> exactly. uh, give me an intimidation roll. Let's see if he bothers you any more in this scenario. And if I'm using Fate Presence, does he have to make a, a DC uh, intimidation check as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. No, I totally just rolled a one. Uh, he rolled a 16. Uh, stupid fey people. I hate those people. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you're going to have to listen to his shit for, for a while. No, I'm, no, I'm really not. <laughs> uh, inside, uh, there are three buildings, kind of an L shape. Uh, one, one, and one on the corner. Which one would you like to go into, gentlemen? I'll take the one on the left. I'll take the one on the right. Split the party. I'm in the middle. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin, uh, 
you find nothing. Not a thing. So is life. Seems seems to be a farmhouse. Uh, Noodle. Ooh, you also find nothing. <laughs> hey, Leaf. You found something. <laughs> Another one of them squirrels? Kind of. Roll initiative. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fourteen. An eight. Uh, as you look into the darkness, you notice two corpses uh, desiccated and hear a noise up on the ceiling above you. Ah, crap. As you glance up, you realize you need a trackball because it's some kind of giant millipede or giant centipede or probably something worse. Give me a nature check since you're the anti druid. <laughs> Yeah. See if it's another squirrel. Mm -hmm. Oh, do, 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 do. 12. Uh, yeah, you know what this is. You know that it's a carrion crawler and that if it's little whiskers touch you, you're going to be paralyzed. You're up first. <laughs> well, you know, I've got this poison spray ready to go. Okay. Dang, it's shit with this thing. Uh, what do I need? Because that's a 12 against, 14. against what, con or? Con. I uh, get plus three to con. That's crap. Yeah, that's 15. <laughs> uh, good news is that poison spray just misses, but it does hit the roof rafters. <laughs> the dripping? Uh, it is dripping and sizzling. Uh, this round, the creature looks down at you, and drops. It is facing off with you. You can almost hear the Star Trek fight song in the background. Uh, top of the order is you, but first, uh, Felix, uh, you want to go to the next building? Uh, before I leave this building, uh, how far away from these bodies am I? Can I serve? They, they are in the debris. So, you know, you're seeing an arm, maybe a leg. Yeah, I'm not going to climb across that debris. So, yeah, I'll go to the next building. Okay. There you find ooh, one adult, three kids dead. Uh, copious V bitters uh, after trying to threaten somebody. <laughs> He stomps off to go uh, deal with Trey and Satin. I'm going to, just, if I don't see anything else from the field and the inspection of the field, I'm going to walk back towards the town, catch up with the party. That's fine. Uh, you can see Felix going from foxhole to foxhole, uh, looking sad. You can see that uh, the three civilians are consoling uh, Trey who is now moving through stage six of grief. Uh, he's moving real fast. You know, medieval life's tough. Uh, Robert, uh, you have found nothing in this building. It appears to be some kind of farmhouse. Not that big a deal. What do you want to do? I was going to walk to the next building. That would be in the line. Okay. Noodle, what do you want to do? Same. Walk to the next building. Okay. Uh, Robert, Noodle, uh, give me initiative. Nineteen. That's four, son. Uh, Robert, as uh, you say, ah, screw this, there's nothing here. You exit the building, you head up to the in-between building, and you see Noodle. <whistles> you open the door, and you see the back of Leaf, and you see him squaring off with a rather large creature. Moving to Leaf! Leaf! Uh, you want initiative here. What do you want to do? I'm going to use my scimitar. AC 13 to hit the crawler. Well, that's a 14, 17. Uh, Robert, give me a nature check. Natural 19. Or should I add the uh, nature portion of it all? 
nah, you know what it is. You know that it is a carrion crawler, and its little walrus-like whiskers are very potent at paralyzing its victims. Ooh. Hey, Lee, wit, this or should I hang out? You got this, right? You good? You good? We'll I see. I did five points. Uh, it uh, swings and misses badly, actually. That's a six. So, a uh, new round. Uh, Felix, uh, after discovering the children and the parent, most likely, uh, what do you want to do? I'm not sure I have the stomach to keep searching these uh, collapsed houses. I'm going to start wandering over, trying to look for where Leaf and Robert and Noodle are. You see Noodle. <laughs> Moving nonchalantly, uh, Robert's got the door open blocking his view, but you can see there's an open door. Clearly, they have found ale or something, possibly a gambling hall. Uh, copious V bitters, uh, you are moving back to town. You see Felix saddened and remorseful at what he's discovered, and he is up out of the trenches and headed towards the L-shaped section of buildings that are upright. He's in a deep conversation with somebody. Sorry, troubleshooting somebody here. No, oh, that's fine. Uh, you can also hear that the three civilians are less than impressed with the investigation skills shown by the party at this time. Their disgruntled nature is led, of course, by Weave. And just out of curiosity, so poison spray is a cone, is it not? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, inner nature wanting to sh poison spray all three of them. Don't we need them to collect our My Little Pony magic ponies? Fight her. Uh, no, I don't think we do. We've got the official summons <laughs> from the court. Get rid of them, and I don't get mine. I'm going to be angry at you. Um, all right, I'm going to go investigate the sound of uh, uh, the ruckus coming from the house that has Leaf and Robert. Fair enough. Uh, Robert. You may engage this round. I'm a coming in with the big swing. Get ready, Leaf. He's hitting you in the back. No ones. All right. All, all ones. All ones. And <clears throat> six points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, are you giving off the old battle cry? Of course. Uh, Noodle, you oh, will hear the battle cry and you will be able to attack after this is all said and done. Leaf, you're up. Uh, 19. Hits. Five points. So you should keep that scimitar a little bit closer. Uh, yeah. Felix, uh, you will hear the screams. You will expedite your approach. You will not be eligible for combat this round, but you will be next round. Give me an initiative roll, please. 14. Nicely done. Uh, carrying crawler time. Doot, doot, doot. Odd even. Even. Robert of Zeppelin, welcome to combat. Uh, that is a 14 plus 4, 18. Yeah, that's going to hit most people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, give me a DC 13 versus con. And you're also taking, ooh, ouch, six hit points of damage. That's a 19. Uh, you were not paralyzed. Uh, Noodle, uh, you heard the scream, the war cry of Robert of Zeppelin. You charged forward with Felix hot on your trail. You burst in and you see your associates, Leaf and Robert, fighting some kind of cephalopod. What would you like to do? I think I'm going to take out my great axe and take swing. One, 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 one. No, 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 no. 20. Oh, yeah, easily. 22. Plus, that's 12 points. Damage. 12 points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, top of the order, Copious, you're hearing the yelling, you're seeing Felix run, Noodle run. You don't see Robert, Leaf, or Haggis crap stain because none of us see Haggis right now. Uh, do you want to dash or do you just want to continue your pace? I'm good with continuing my pace. That's fair enough. Nice saunter. Uh, 
we will start with uh, who had the 19? I did. Go ahead, Robert of Zeppelin. Attack it. That is 16 to hit. It hits. And then eight points of damage. You're chopping it down to size. Uh, next up is the 14. Yeah, so I'm, I'm guessing I'm probably not close enough to attack with both short swords. So I'm going to oh, take out my yeah. long... No, you, you will. You will have humped once you heard the screams. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's what I'll do. I'll attack with short swords. Because I figure if you attack twice, that just gives me the double opportunity of having a one. Now, I rolled a two. <laughs> Oh, one oh. of them. <laughs> uh, what, what's that issue? The other one was a uh, 19. Uh, that hits Robert a Zeppelin. Uh, you feel something chink off your armor <laughs> as Felix the Rogue enters the fray. <laughs> Apparently you are in his way. <laughs> so the, the one that hit, that one does nine damage. Nice. Uh, that was the 14, the 13. 22. Hits. Five points. You guys are really chopping it down. I'm going to uh, make a mention to the, the other guys. Watch out for the shit dripping from the ceiling. Party pooper. <laughs> Three noodle and one leaf. Uh... Ouch. Okay. Noodle, you're up first. No. Unless an eight hits you. Leaf. Jesus Christ. Nine. Ah, uh, that's it for me. Noodle, it snapped at you. It snapped at Leaf. What do you want to do? I'm not sure I hit it. Good. You know, just, just to let you know, it never did anything to you. I don't care. It looks ugly. It's going to die. Uh, that being the case, uh, you know, you got several targets to uh, choose from here. <laughs> hey, who's he closest to? Uh, he would be next to you and Felix. Are you odd, odd you, even yeah. Felix. I think someone's going to get chinked. Uh, uh, he rolled a one. <laughs> uh, odd Robert of Zeppelin, even Felix. Roll, son. I'm rolling. That's an even number. Thank uh, you. What? <laughs> you almost hit me. You know what? Karma's a bitch, Felix. That's all. Uh, noodle, roll your damage and then cut it in half. Five, half, two. Two. Two, two, two. damage. Round up, though, isn't it? Round up's two and a half. Well, well no, round up is the druid. Uh, round down <laughs> is the hit. <laughs> Uh, that puts us back to the top of the order. Robert of Zeppelin, there's just chaos as Felix bangs into you, nearly hits you in the armor, and Noodle swings and misses your face but manages to hit Felix. Uh, Copious, uh, you're going to be hearing the sounds of battle. You will attack last if it is still alive, which is unlikely. Robert, what do you want to do? I swing to hit with a 21, and I did... 13 points of damage. Uh, Copious, you can go ahead and uh, sheathe your sword because your services will not be needed. As you walk in, you point out, uh, what did I miss? <laughs> As there is some kind of large tentacled insecta at the feet of Robert the Zeppelin, hero of Belfast. Noodle and Felix are in a deep discussion over what the hell are you aiming at and leaf the druid keeps pointing up to the ceiling saying hey watch out as little droplets of poison seem to be dripping off uh and behind you the three citizens stupid guys they haven't done anything i don't think they found anything at all especially that copious feed bitters that guys yeah so let's be real clear so i'm going to ask leaf with his, because he's such a fabulous druid, can he get the parts off of this creature that caused the numbness? Right? Can can he separate those out? Absolutely, absolutely. 
here, here is where the druid becomes paralyzed. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Would you like to try and get the numb sack off of it? Hell yes. Animal handling. <laughs> if it's below a 14, you don't get it. If it's below a six, you got it <laughs> all over yourself. 23. Ooh. Uh, he expertly oh. removes a strange viscous gland. Perfect. Here's the sack you that requested. For, for, for later. I'm going to okay. put it <laughs> All right. inside a container. Thank you. And then I'm going to go to the three gentlemen and ask them if they have any ideas at all, since they're so unhappy with our services, what sort of investigation, you know, they've done to identify the source of their issue. Do they have suggestions? Uh, Trey is still in mourning, although making his way through the stages of grief. Uh, Weave is going to give his unfiltered opinion as to his viewpoint of the very bare minimum being done and how he does not agree that you should be the new owners of Zonkeys. Uh, Satin is more, when are we going to get to my village? I'd like to take uh, Weave off to the side and have an intimidation conversation about his attitude. Sure. That's fair. I will denote that Weave is the jerk. <laughs> That's a 22 on intimidation with maybe a little gut shot to help him understand. You will not be bothered by Weave for the rest of the scenario. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's go with Leaf. Leaf, what do you want to do? I want to look around the building we're in. We haven't really examined anything in here. Carefully avoiding the pools of poison. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Felix, what would you like to do? I'm going to do the same. Do you want to pick up the dead body of Haggis Crapstain or just leave it where it's lying? Uh, I'll just leave him where he's lying. He, he knows fair. what he did wrong. Maybe we should all take another shot at it again. <laughs> what about the hyena that's abusing us? Before it gets cold. He was responsible for this mess. So, uh, Robert Zeppelin, what would you like? Oh, you were taking Weave aside. Noodle, what would you like to do? Investigate more buildings. That's it. Uh, you guys, uh, uh, unless you want to go where Felix has not to the uh, damaged bunch buildings. Of, bunch of dead okay. bodies out there. Very, there's a tear. Uh, he and Haggis have gone through some of the buildings finding dead civilians there. Well, uh, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Why don't you stick with the group? Then I'm just going to stick with the group and see what happens. I have nothing like that I can think of. Jeez, so, dude, that's who, who's investigating inside here again? Uh, Leaf, Copious, and Felix just roll a straight up 20. Let's see who has the highest roll. 17. 12. Leaf. Eight. Uh, Felix, as you're going around, uh, you find a shoe. It's mm -hmm. a it's a child's shoe. Crystal slipper? Nope. Just a plain old leather uh, Reebok. I'm going to kind of shake it a little bit, see if there's anything still in it, like a foot or... <laughs> <laughs> For, fortunately, there is no foot. Uh, it is right next to a dining room table with a cloth over it was the shoe on top of the table or underneath on the floor and i'm gonna look underneath the table you see a small child just paralyzed in fear uh i'm gonna try to talk to the child and say hello what's your name there little child Bella. And I'm going to try not to be so creepy when I say it. Jesus. And, you know, uh, after yeah, being hello. in the king's of, hello, child. <laughs> I have candy that will make you feel better. <laughs> you want some tobacco? I'm going to give you tobacco and alcohol. I hope you will be my friend. <laughs> you and I can share the bedroll. <laughs> my puppy. <laughs> The more you know. Uh, everybody can hear Felix looking underneath the skirt of the table, and he's attempting to talk to someone. 
Uh, hey, Felix is talking to his PP again. <laughs> hey, little fella. Yeah, but this time it's answering him back. <laughs> nope. This child is paralyzed. I'm going to go look over his shoulder. I've always been curious. <laughs> Oh, wait, am I back? Uh, you know what? That's not going to creep anybody out. <laughs> if the child wasn't paralyzed in fear yet, it is now. Hello, little cut, little child. <laughs> you help me fly my puppy. Hello, <laughs> buddy. Uh, the, the child uh, is in what you perceive to be shock. But after thinking about it for a moment, everybody can figure out that this carrion crawler probably got it, uh, but couldn't get underneath the table to eat it before you guys arrived. So uh, give, it, uh, give it a minute or so, and hopefully the child comes out of it. Uh, you know what, Leaf, D12 against me. Let's see if we can really mess up this environment. Uh, 12. Okay. Uh, the three citizens uh, that uh, one of which Robert has scared crapless uh, <laughs> are still outside and they are not in this building. At 20. Uh, the child, uh, Felix, as you look at the child, it starts to blink. Uh, it is a female child. Witch. <laughs> yes, let's burn the witch. <laughs> uh, she looks at you. She looks at the creepy Robert of Zeppelin hovering over your shoulder <laughs> like a two-headed Etten. Uh, and she is, scampers more towards the back of the table. Oh, uh, little girl. It's okay. We don't mean you no harm. Come towards us. We have you, candy. Uh, you know what? When you rewatch this, I I just want you to pay close attention to how you're <laughs> how how you are talking to the small child who is in abject fear. Uh, give me a uh, I don't know. Give me a performance roll to see if you come across less creepy than that. <laughs> you need to practice because you knocked up that barmaid. Yeah, no, Nine. that's true. She is scared. Uh, she does not recognize any of you. She is in fear. You, you're there. Robert's leering at her. Uh, there's a couple other. There's a dead creature in the middle here, and you know. You I'm gonna homies. go. I'm gonna go I'm gonna out. Trey. I'm gonna go out and get Trey. Yeah. Get Trey to come in. Tell him there's a, a little girl's in here alive. Uh, Trey immediately sprints in, looks underneath, and uh, calls her out by name, Molina. Asks her what happened. Uh, seeing uh, a familiar face, she is way less scared <laughs> and points out that uh, two nights ago, uh, more buildings collapsed and she saw a, a scary lady and she's she hid in here. Uh, she doesn't know where her mom is. She doesn't know where her father is. Uh, and uh, that guy offered me tobacco. <laughs> Trey shoots an angry look at Felix the Rogue uh, and then goes back to try and calm the small child. Uh, who wants to interject? I will. Myself, yep. I thought the tobacco would calm her down a little. Yeah, I hit <laughs> not that kind of tobacco. <laughs> I want to know what the, the scary lady looked like. Uh, give, Did she look a little bit like me? Get, <laughs> boy, you really I'm half, I'm half elf. I've got the ears. So. Uh, give me a uh, performance roll. See if she <laughs> takes kindly to you. Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, that'd be no. What was it? That's six. <laughs> Uh, she uh, pushes back in fear, but Trey points out, it's okay. These guys are uh, heroes. <laughs> uh, so the child thinks and kind of rubs her ear a little bit. She will not talk to you, though. Damn it. I'm going to try to charm the little bastard. <laughs> 
with that approach, how can it possibly go poorly? I'm pretty sure it's the little orphan, based on what I saw outside. Am I right? <laughs> little Annie, come here. Let me oh. tell you a song. Too soon. Too soon, probably. <laughs> it's only been a few minutes. Oh, we lost the August again. I, I think I saw your parents. They look like this. <laughs> Your mom sent me to help you help me find my little lost puppy. I can hardly wait to hear how this charm is going to work. <laughs> I'm just still trying to figure out how to do it. I, I wish I had a bardic song of, oh, your parents are dead. Your animals are dead. Everybody you know is dead. <laughs> okay, so Everybody is dead. <laughs> it's uh, wisdom, uh, save and attack wisdom 11. So we're attacking the small orphan child. Good call. Person. No shit. Natural 20. <laughs> this film has failed me like three times already. <laughs> Maybe you should be a fighter. <laughs> uh, Haggis crap. <laughs> okay. Uh, Noodle, what do you want to do? <laughs> I think I'm going to go in the house that Robert entered. Just see what's going on. Peep in there. As you're well. already in there. Yeah, yeah, you're already in there. Everybody's in there. Then I'll look in. See if I could. You're in there. We just fought the creature. It was here. Are you, you know what? Since he's so lost, <laughs> let's go ahead and do a perception check to see if he wasn't paying attention when Leaf said, "Watch out for the falling poison." <laughs> Plus your perception. Maybe I he will. rolled a 16 plus perception. He's fine. He stays out of the poison dripping from the ceiling. Hagas, what do you want to do? Uh, your colleagues are just making massive strides at calming the orphan. Look in there and tell us, okay, and then peek back out. That's all I'm doing. He's talking to Haggis. <laughs> yeah, you, you're, you're already <laughs> wandering around. <laughs> He, he missed the poison, but walked straight into a beam and knocked himself out. That works. Haggis, what do you want to do? Little Molina is scared, is rubbing her ears as she looks at Leaf, uh, and Robert has attacked her slash tried to charm her. And Felix has pointed out that she's most likely an orphan, which is, you know... When you first come out of a stupor, that's the first thing you want to hear, that everybody that you loved is dead. All Your of you parents suffer. have died. <laughs> Don't go into the light, Carolyn. What do you want to do, Hoggis? <laughs> wow. Can he hear me or? Haggis, or can you hear? Can't, can't hear you there. Shake your head no. Can you hear? Can you hear, little man? We can't hear you, no. Go fix it. Just yell out to your dad, and he can speak. <laughs> he said, to hell with you, I quit. That's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, Felix, what do you want to do now that you've made fun of the child situation? Do Dr. Phil. Dr. Felix. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to try to ask her what happened. What does she remember? What is the last thing she remembers? Give me a performance check. What happened to you, little girl? It's not about you. Ten. Ten's close enough. Uh, she points out that she hid underneath the table, uh, heard a lot of screaming and yelling, and next thing she knew, something touched her, and she went stiff as a board. That's what usually happens, right, hey, Felix? Can I try an experiment? Oh, God. <laughs> sure, <laughs> experiment on the orphan there, Dr. Mangala. <laughs> it's just, I want to make sure what we're, what we're dealing with. So I'm going to hit her with the poison sack. <laughs> so I'm what? saving that for somebody. <laughs> God, that's going to, somebody's going to get that one. Hello, Anyways, hello. The, uh, yeah, yeah, we can hear you now. All right. I want to I want to cast minor illusion, and I'm going to make a minor illusion that looks like an elvish, uh, a female elvish druid, and see if the little girl responds. Turn leaf into it. So you're going to attempt to make this poor, scared 
orphan see her arch nemesis again. That's what well, I'm hearing. If you're going to make me look like her, I want Felix in front of me where I can see. <laughs> yes. So I'm going to cast the illusion over top just for form and shape over top of leaf. Okay. Uh, give me a performance check. Let's see how close you come to uh, making this realistic. Did the man touch you? The only thing that we're making <laughs> this child mentally effed. Where did the man touch you? How bad was it? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> the child is now even more puzzled looking at Leaf. <laughs> and as you look over at your crafty illusion, uh, you realize that you have given him, uh, I don't know, Dumbo ears. <laughs> I was thinking he had like three breasts and Dumbo ears. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, he's something out of uh, True Lies. Uh, you have really crafted a winner. Uh, but at least the child is no longer frightened. She's just puzzled. Uh, Haggis, uh, if you can stay with us, what would you like to do? Um, Hint, uh, you can't do any worse. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so I offer the, the, the child this potion I stole from the the cleric at that one end, and I give it to her and say it's juice. Jesus, this, <laughs> this cannot go wrong at all. <laughs> all right. How about a performance check to see if you can convince the child that this is a sippy cup filled with love juice? We're so getting banned off of whatever channel this is posted on. Yep. <laughs> and what? 15? Congratulations, Haggis. You were the only one to convince this child of anything. Unfortunately, that was a potion of gaseous form. <laughs> now she is even more confused, but because she is just a cloud of gas, you cannot hear the scream. <laughs> You're I told you it could. You know what? I was wrong. I was wrong. You could do worse, and you just proved me wrong. So I'm going to oh, no, I see that to the top. You'll prove you wrong. I'm well, going outside. Is gassed. <laughs> I want to uh, nudge uh, uh, Robert and suggest that this may have just become a black ops operation. <laughs> we're going to have to kill everybody. This <laughs> is. <laughs> 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 oh my god farmers into the other uh, shed there. let's have a conversation shall we <laughs> i need you to just look right here at the ship and everything will be fine 25 oh my god uh haggis you have now earned the ire of trey who demands to know what the hell you did with little melina because she is now a pink lingering mist. <laughs> Apparently John Wick visited. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to tell, from my eyes, the problem was fixed. It, it, it's fine now. He released her soul. <laughs> she was a trapped spirit. And we have now cleansed this house. <laughs> oh my god, how long is it? Oh, demons, be gone! <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <clears throat> the mist will linger around more around Trey than around any of you, especially Haggis. So let's go ahead and put this into perspective. You have <laughs> found a lot of dead bodies, a carrion crawler, a survivor whom you've scared, attacked by charm, and turned into gaseous form. All right, that's that's where we're currently at. Trey is pissed. Who wants to try and calm him? I got this. Uh, everybody, roll a twenty. Who's going to try and calm, and we'll go from top to bottom. Fourteen. I've seen airplane. I know how to do this. Everybody, line up and slap. I know. I'm good. Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Oh. Felix, you want to try or? Why not? Everyone else is nine. Noodle. nine. Noodle's got a one. <clears throat> okay, 14. Calm the situation. 
19 points of intimidate to tell them to calm the hell down. A little intimidation. Let's bring this down a little bit. You need to listen to me. Bob Ross style. So he takes the aggressive approach. That's fair. Uh, 19 on the intimidation? Yes. That's good. Uh, next up are the two 11s. Uh, yeah. I suck at I sure in the hell wasn't going to charm him. I rolled 13. To do. Are you going to kill this guy? <laughs> no. I, I, I don't I have it at any kind of an a intimidation uh, bonus or persuasion bonus. And I'm just going to try to calm him down. Okay, Haggis. Just to ask, is there is there any um any other like people witnesses like looking? The other way? two are outside because Robert of Zeppelin has already given the old chest. <laughs> oh <milk>. no! Weave. <laughs> See where this is going. <clears throat> the only witnesses are your party at this point, and the pink lingering mist that may or may not have enough mental stamina to see slash understand what is going on. Okay. I, I put my hand on my, on my dagger and I'm, and I'm just ready. You know? Okay. That's fair. Uh, the 10 cope is V bitters. 14. Four. I was trying to persuade him that the, the situation isn't quite what it appears. That's We've fair. All under control. Uh, the nine, Felix. I'm going to uh, as well try to persuade him and let him know that I've seen Mr. Crabstain do this several times in the past. I <laughs> highly suggest that we get out of this room because I've also seen what Robert likes to do in these situations. And I think the torches are going to come out and this place is going to get burned down. So this is part of uh, Haggis's uh, social uh, psych psychological approach to calm down victims. This is the teeter-totter diagram. <laughs> yes. Stick just remember how we or got carrot. <laughs> just remember how we got out of Habu. Uh, all I'm saying is Robert torched the place. Noodle, you're okay. last. What would you like to do? What are you going to do? What are you, you going to do for this person? I'm not going to do anything, I don't think. Cause I got no, you might as well try to persuade. Roll I'm going to try. You, you should hang out underneath the poison drip and then... <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how this one tastes. Because I'll say it again. This situation cannot get worse. <laughs> Gargle with the poison dripping off the roof. Okay. I got a 19 for persuasion. Very good. Uh, it came up as a six on who Trey was going to listen to. That is Felix. And Felix, your persuasion was enough to get him calmed down despite the antagonistic intimidation techniques of the Gestapo-ish party members. <laughs> uh, you claim to be the voice of reason. He has focused in on you and has been persuaded that Haggis can't believe I'm saying it, knows what he's doing. <laughs> uh, but he's concerned because he can still see the mist uh, and wants to know how to change it back into little Molina. Don't worry. Uh, Mr. Crabstain knows exactly what he's doing. He'll, we created her into a mist. We'll put her into a jar, carry her with us. She's a lot lighter as a mist. And then he will give her the antidote and everything will be A-OK. -okay. She, she'll wake up a little groggy, won't quite know where she's at. For those of you and, just tuning in, it doesn't sound anything at all like that. No, <laughs> that is not, it's, you have to watch the entire episode to go ahead and get the, <laughs> the gist of this situation. Uh, that's fair. Do you want him to leave and do you guys want to leave? And how do you want to capture the essence of Molina in a bottle? I wasn't serious about capturing her. I just told him that he was going to capture her. That's, that's his prerogative. Okay. So do you want to lead him out? Since yes, I'm going to start escorting him out and I'm going to 
uh, kind of look at Robert and Zeppelin on my way out the door, like, torch the place. Let's go. We gotta go. I've already got the spark on the flint and steel, buddy. You better get moving. Uh, the two civilians watch as Felix exits the building with a very stunned and uh, uh, uncertain individual uh, in the form of Trey. Uh, everybody else is inside the building with Robert striking flint to tinder uh haggis you overheard felix saying that you were supposed to catch this kid in a bottle and render some kind of unknown healing to it or recovery uh do you want to try and capture the essence of the small child no I, I, it'll be fine she'll be fine fair enough uh robert are you lighting it hell yeah I can hardly wait to hear the excuse here. Uh, give me a performance roll. If it's too low, you're giving somebody a hot foot just for sport. Uh, it is a 23. Oh, yeah. This place is going to go up. Uh, Noodle, copious and leaf. Uh, you watch as Robert. Oh, fire. <laughs> what would you guys like to do? Noting that Felix is in firm control of this situation as he leads Trey out of the current unburnt building. So is the, uh, is, oh, I'm sorry, is the mist able to it, it talk? No. Or listen? It's just a mist. She cannot speak. You don't know if she can listen. I'm going to direct my voice to her and say, you need to follow us outside Give me until this wears off. Yep. Performance check, please. Oh, boy. These haven't went well. And they're still not going well. Five. Ah, oh, very good. Copious. So I'm going to attempt something similar and see if we can usher her out uh, the nearest door, window, whatever's the locust thing. And if, if she doesn't move, I'm going to start fanning her, literally fanning her because she's a mist. And I think I can blow her out. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you want to try the persuasion first? Sure. 21. Okay. Uh, she seems to hover out of the center of the room, away from Robert the firebug, and seems to be drifting slowly towards the open door that Felix has left. Uh, you get behind her and fan her like you've passed gas. Yes. Uh, Haggis, uh, right now you're just kind of watching this debacle. Yes. Cornholio. <laughs> I guess uh, you see Robert lighting everything he can on fire like he's dancing in the moon at Burning Man. What would you like to do? Is it too late to try and catch it, the, the mist? Uh, it's going out the door. If you want to try and catch it, uh, go ahead. You can. Uh, my opinion would be to kick Copious out of the way and try and catch it, but you do what you want. That's a good idea. It's a little breezy outside. 17. Okay. Uh, how are you trying to catch it? Well, if he's fanning it out the door, then I want to catch it like going out the door. Okay. So he's just blowing it into my hand or cup or whatever. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> like firefly oh, there, I, I already know how that's going to end up, but go ahead and roll a uh, performance. Because that, you know what? I, I am going to screw with you on this one. Go ahead, roll performance. 16. Very good. And I'm glad you rolled high. Uh, okay. Uh, Robert. <laughs> Woo! Everything is on fire. Felix, you're outside. You can hear the snap, crackle, and pop behind you. You know what's going on. Uh, what? Who also knows what's going on are the other two citizens, uh, including the silent but angry Weave. Uh, and he's like, what the hell's on fire? I'll tell him, it, it's, this the place is full of dead bodies. He just yeah, need to take care of it. It's just best that everything in there gets cremated, and uh, we'll we'll build fresh in the morning. Ashes, ashes, baby. Uh, Robert comes running out the door. Are you still holding the torch? Yes, until I get out the door and everybody looks at me, and I just kind of. 
throw throw it in some weeds to burn down the, the, the crops. Uh, I get uh, too. I'm throwing it up on top. Uh, the good news is the spell has or the potion has worn off. The bad news is Haggis has captured her, and as the child changes back, he is now throttling her. <laughs> Haggis, uh, you now have a fully formed small human being uh, in your grasp, and she is <laughs> sounds like a seal. Would you like to release her as the three civilians undoubtedly turn and witness your abuse of this child? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I just throw her at the two, three civilians. <laughs> Good call. I was hoping you'd throw her towards the lit torch. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Uh, the child falls to the ground crying. Uh, angry looks are shot at you, wondering why you are pummeling uh, this helpless victim. Uh, you heroes. <laughs> uh, we, weave, weave might be onto something. Uh, they all look at each other and Satin kind of rubs his chin. He goes, you know what? <clears throat> I think Lumberton's okay. I don't think we need to go. I, I you know what? There's all been a big misunderstanding. Uh, I, I don't think we need to go any further. Oh no! Oh no! We made a deal. We're going to uphold our end of this bargain. We're yeah, going to yeah, go yeah. to Lumberton. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't be doing our job, Nate, if we didn't go to yeah. Lumberton. Weave has made it very clear he needs to see us go to Lumberton. Not doing our jobs, according to him. <laughs> Got lots of torches. I mean, uh, abilities to use in Lumberton. Satin says, well, I suppose we can make it by nightfall, I guess. <laughs> uh, Trey uh, tosses little Molina onto his shoulders. Uh, she is still stunned and confused uh doesn't understand what she did wrong to haggis doesn't really understand how she turned into uh pink mist uh but trey is doing his best to soothe her as is uh weave who is finally not pissing you guys off mostly because robert of zeppelin attempted to push his uh adam's apple into his rectum so uh do you guys want to head off to lumberton of course Yes. Well, you've, you've done a fantastic investigation here. Sherlock Holmes would be proud. <laughs> uh, the afternoon uh, progresses and storm clouds roll in, boding ill will for all of you as you continue to climb higher and higher on the mountain. Uh, Satin will join you two uh, to avoid Weave, Trey, and Molina, and he will explain to you that they are a... My or a lumber camp, it, it, it can be very flammable. Uh, so if you could maybe tell the big guy to not emolliate everything, it is our livelihood. Uh, yeah, I got it. Hey, Robert, <laughs> calm down. It's fine. The torches won't come out of my bag, I promise. Uh, he will point out that there are six buildings in Lumberton when last he left, uh, including a very impressive bear statue uh, at the front of the camp. Uh, he will look at each of you and then focus his gaze on Robert and say, but it is only a statue. It's not going to attack. It's going to be fine. Burn it. Oh no, it looks kind of real. Uh, as you progress forward, uh, the rain begins in earnest and the trail gets super muddy. If there were tracks here, there ain't no more. Uh, as the dusk starts to fall, even through the clouds, uh, you can see a final ridge and Satin says, Behold my home. From this angle, you can see several buildings still intact. Not a problem. You do not see any movement. Uh, there is a bridge over a swollen river. 
but this bridge is intact uh, unless you roll a one. So everybody roll straight up D20, don't roll a one, noodle. As we're walking up, uh, can we ask the, the whether, how many people normally are in the village? 15. When last he left. I rolled a 16. Same, 16. Nine. Anybody, any ones? No Six. ones? Everybody crosses over. Robert of Zeppelin, you were first to spot ah, a giant Kodiak bear carved out of the stump, of the very high stump of a conifer tree. Evergreen. Oh, my torch out! What is that? Just kidding. He taps you on the shoulder. He says, that's okay. Uh, he screeches out a hello, but all of you notice that there are no lights, no fires, no nothing, but the smell of burnt wood is heavy in the air. Uh, give me a perception check, please, everybody. Everybody higher than a 14, raise your hand. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> uh, Felix and Leaf, you notice uh, that beyond the front facade, uh, there's a what was probably a taller building, but it looks quite charred at this point in time. Uh, Satin does not notice this. He is continuing to call out, uh, but his voice echoes to nothingness. Nobody answers his call. I'd just like to point out my torches are still in my bag. Yeah, are we certain this is Lumberton and we didn't just wrap around the forest and come right back into the same town? Robert of Zeppelin. Before? Robert of Zeppelin will confirm that uh, underneath the bear, uh, it says Lumberton. It did. I saw it. Uh, I'll tell Satin that building in the back back there looks like it's burnt. Was that like that when you left? No, it was not. That is the mill. Can you lead us to the mill then? Sure. He starts to walk across. Everybody roll initiative. Jeez, a one. Uh, 14. 18. 16. Noodle got a 13. Robert has 19. 14. Uh, giant spiders, one for each of you. Huzzah! Uh, let's start with the 19, Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, these are AC 14. 21 to hit. Mm -hmm. And then 11 points of damage. Nice. Uh, next up is the 18, Felix the Rogue. What was the AC on these? Four, or, yeah, 14. Okay, yeah, I'm not close to that. But uh, with my short sword, one of them hits mm -hmm. for eight damage. Nice. Uh, the 16, Leaf. <clears throat> muted. You're muted, Leaf. Nobody heard it. Again. <laughs> Bye. That's a swing and a miss. The 14s, copious V bitters and Haggis crap stain. You're up. Hit for nine. Haggis? Um, what was the armor class? You said? 14. Okay. That's hit. Seven damage. Nicely done. I will attack each of you. If it's odd, you will get uh, the bite. If it is even, uh, they will shoot a web at you. Uh, let's use one that I can see. First off, leaf. Uh, even and a nat 20. Uh, so give me a DC 12 versus strength as sinewy webs encompass you. Sorry, 18. 18. Uh, they uh, screech off your armor. Copious V bitters. This is a bite, but it's 
Gonna be a 12. Uh, Hagas. Uh, even, uh, that's the web. Give me a DC 12 versus strength. Hagas. Dexterity. Uh, strength. To break out through to the other side. Fifteen. Yep. Uh, you tear off without issue. Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, also, uh, Webb, give me strength. DC 12 versus strength. Or be wrapped up. Thirteen. No problem. Noodle. That's a bite. 16 plus 3, 19. Uh, pff, two hit points of damage. Uh, last but not least, uh, odd and two. So Felix, not even close. Back to the top of the order with the 19. You skip Robert. Noodle. Noodle's a 12. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It, oh, he's a 13, right? No, he was a 12. Okay. Sorry, Noodle, go ahead. 19. 19 and eight. three put damage. Eight, eight damage. Nicely done. Okay, Robert is Zeppelin, top of the order. <laughs> okay, next up, 16, or I'm sorry, 18, Felix. Uh. Uh, 16 and a 21. Did both of them hit? Mm -hmm. Just real quick to interrupt. Did you, did I, was I speaking or did I have missed my mic button? You missed your mic button. That was a hit. I had 20, like four. So oh, okay. Points of damage. I know uh, I shaking okay. my head. So 20 How many? points of damage. Eight points. Got it. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Felix. So I, did, I did 15 points of damage. Nice. Uh, yours is dead. Uh, next up, 16. Leaf. Yeah. No, nine. Uh, the 14s, Copious and Haggis. Now, is that a no, but I hit? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a 13 attack. There you go. Haggis? I got seven. That's a miss. Uh, Noodle, you're up. Because I got the nat one. 11. No, it's more than 11, knucklehead. Oh, sorry. Your hit chance. Ah, Plus seven. Eight. Stop drinking the poison. I'm sorry. It just tastes so good. Hagas, you could have given him the potion. <laughs> but also 17 points of damage. Uh, that one's dead. <laughs> uh, two dead. So back to me. Uh, Leaf, give me a DC 12 again. It's shooting spider webs out its butt. Congratulations. <laughs> You're one of the hobbits. Uh, copious. <laughs> uh, six plus three. I'm assuming a nine does not get you. Robert of Zeppelin, yours is still alive. Uh, that's an even, so give me the DC 12. Straight up seven plus, do I, plus strength, or is it just mm -hmm. 12? On the nose? Uh, it's sticky, but you managed to break free, uh, bringing us back up to you. That's what she said. That is never what she said. There's no documentation to show that. Really? <laughs> okay, I'll give you that one. <laughs> what you got for me, Robert? Robert? I already broke free. Yeah, top of the order. Oh, we're back? Noodle. Yeah, I roll a natural one on my initiative. Oh, I go last. You missed Noodle again. No, okay. Noodle, Noodle killed his. Oh, you killed yours? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Back to well, somebody else is drinking a poison. <laughs> come on, Noodle. Noodle, come over and kill mine. Okay. 
Uh, 21 and 13 points of damage. Dead. Uh, next up is the 18, Felix. I got an 18 and a 21. Who do you want to go after? Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to go after the one that was attacking Leaf. Okay. And then for damage, I got a 5 and a 4. So, uh, nine. 9. Still alive. Uh, bah, 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 bah. 16. Uh, Leaf, give me a strength check. See if you can break free this time. You stink on ice. <laughs> I'll tell you, when you're rolling bad, you roll bad. Copious and Haggis. 14. Hit. Uh, 12 points of damage. Uh, that knocks it down. Haggis. Is it, can I two-handed my rapier and my dagger? You can, but if you are not proficient, you will be uh, attacking at disadvantage with the dagger or whichever one you have in your offhand. Okay, well, I'm just gonna attack the spider that was attacking. Okay. 15. Yep. Nine damage. Not enough to kill it. Uh, currently we have Haggis and Leaf. Uh, that brings us to Noodle. Uh, Robert, uh, it, it's Noodle's turn. <laughs> Just letting you know that Noodle's gone. <laughs> you're muted if you're saying stuff. He oh. wants to kill somebody else's now. That's fine. Uh, he's got Haggis or he's got Leafs. I'll kill Leaf. Haggis can do that on his own. So attack Leaf. Go ahead. <laughs> that's what I heard. That's what, that's, that's how I heard it. Yeah. Monster. Card laid, card played. <laughs> kill <laughs> the <laughs> druid. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Good the news. Taste pretty good. He's he's still tied up. That's advantage, man. You can end him right here. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas is a long way off. It'll be fine. It ain't that damn far. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna still kill the spider. I'm sad that I can't, but I'm just can't hit him. But I'm still gonna kill the spider. All okay, right, give it a shot. If you hit a uh, one, natural, uh, natural twenty. Nat uh, okay. Uh, Reroll your damage dice and then add your modifiers. So you roll damage, you reroll damage, then you add any modifiers. Plus. Yeah, if it was a one leaf, it was going to be full damage on you. <laughs> 15. 15. That one's dead. Uh, last one up is Haggis, and that is me. It's a bite, but only a 13. Robert of Zeppelin, end it. All right. 22 to hit and seven points of damage on Haggis's uh, spitter. The collection of spiders has all been defeated uh, with the last wiggling leg, courtesy of Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, Satin comes up and will clasp somebody on the back. Uh, Noodle. Uh, the individual from Lumberton comes up and says, thank you for not burning the place down. I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, as night begins to fall, I think this is a good spot to stop it. Uh, hey, will somebody cut me out of this web, please? No. <laughs> no it, it looks so comfortable. It's like a mummy sleeping bag. Here, here. Uh, uh, uh. The movie I remember, you put me in a swimming pool, and when I come out, I'm young. Uh, I'm not going to say what I was going to say hey, 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 <laughs> about, the, about the movie Cocoon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go with final thoughts. Felix, what would you think of tonight's episode? I thought it was good. I didn't get much gambling, but that's okay. It's good to change things up. Oh, but I, don't know. I did <laughs> buy a whole bunch of sets of new dice for this week. Mm. So they worked very well for me. Well, they worked better than Leafs. <laughs> Uh, Haggis Crabstain, intermittent 
participant. What would you think? I enjoyed it. You missed the whole part about them really screwing that kid up for life. Noodle, what do you think? What did you think of the night game? I thought it was great. Huh? Did you? Did you really? Yes, I did. I really did. I don't think he got hit by anything, so I, I've got to, I've got to agree. I with got that. hit twice, but I think he's pretty sure he hit me in the face. I, yeah, I tried to hit you in the face, um, but I think I got hit by um, Leaf. And that, and, and, oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, Robert, what'd you think? I think uh, if you can't solve the problem, burn, burn it. it. <laughs> Uh, I, burning, burning things always makes it anew, right, Leaf? Uh, copious V bitters, what'd you think? Uh, I, you know what? I, I was laughing too hard to concentrate on some of the story tonight. Um, I'm not quite sure why we scarred a child uh, and what that means, but I, I am fairly confident that not all three of the farmers will make it back to town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised they all made it to Lumberton. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, Leaf, uh, I don't know who you worship, but <laughs> they're probably going to be pissed. <laughs> we're going to have a we're going to have a talk tonight. That's for sure. They're going to have to do something about my robes. Yeah, I'd like hey. colors on them. I'm uh, telling you, folks. This has been Margu. Uh, these guys have done a great job, albeit uh, psychically damaging a child probably forever and plotting to murder at least one civilian. But uh, we hope you liked it. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our stuff, there's a link in there somewhere. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. Everybody wave, and uh, everybody, make sure to wash your hands and cover your cough.